Hello, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas and Woodenville Wine Blog. And we are going to talk about Stonewall Kitchen gourmet foods today. I am a lazy baker. I am a cook, but when it comes to baking, I love to have just a fancy box in the house to make something quickly, even though I own hundreds of cookbooks and baking books. We're going to go live on Amazon. We're welcoming our friends on Facebook and YouTube and Amazon Live. So I actually <clears throat> need to find this item, Stonewall Kitchen. Which one is that? Is that the cornbread? <clears throat> so I like to gift after a dinner party. You don't want to bring your hostess wine because she probably already thought of bringing, you know, she, she already figured out her meal and the kind of wine she wants to open. You don't want to bring her flowers that she has to put in a vase and stop what she's doing. So you want to bring her flowers that are already cut in a vase or a plant or the next day you send her a gift basket to say thank you depending on how awesome the dinner party was and I wanted to start off by showing you some of the things cornbread mix this is all available on Amazon it's Stonewall Kitchen and I have a vacation house in a lake city a little lake town and think about why your guests are going to on vacation to your house they are going to go out and do things at the lake. They're going to be boating and swimming and going shopping and going out to restaurants and wineries, etc. So they don't want to come back and cook from scratch. So when I gift my friends a week at my vacation house, I like to have a little basket of easy to make gourmet foods and really nice gourmet dipping oils and balsamic vinegars, and we're going to go through all of those today. I thought I would start off with some of the baking products that are featured and see if I can find them in our carousel for those of you watching on Amazon Live. So these are a little bit expensive. They're $12. So the fact that I have a bunch of them here, I've got almost a hundred bucks worth of food sitting on my counter. I leave these in the pantry at my vacation house so when people get there and I leave them a note encouraging them to use them and bake with them, they can run to the little store that's like a mile away and pick up the eggs and the milk that they'll need, but they won't need vegetable oil because I stock that. So what if they were making chili for a big family meal because a lot of family reunions happen at my vacation house? They could make cornbread mix to go with it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find everything that's in the carousel. They can make rosemary parmesan quick bread to have snacks in the afternoon. Remember how hungry swimming makes you? And if you're watching us on Amazon Live or YouTube or Facebook, I'd love to have you drop a note and let us know where you're watching from and if you've ever used any Stonewall Kitchen products. This is my favorite. I hope I can find it in the carousel. The carousel the pictures are really small, so I'm squinting and I'm probably focusing on the wrong one. But this is my very favorite lemon pound cake mix. And when I'm done baking it in the little four by eight pan or whatever it is, I like to take lemons, wash them off, slice them really, really thin and lay them on the top of it just to look really pretty. Like just six or eight slices on the top to make it look fancier. And next we have a cinnamon bun mix. If you have guests that are all in a big house having a vacation, somebody is going to wake up early, probably the grandma, and then they can get up. Oops, that's donuts. I can't find my mix. I'm sorry. Is it that one? Yes. They can get up early and make cinnamon buns, and everyone else can wake up to the smell of coffee and hot, freshly made cinnamon buns. And you could make it from scratch, but if you're on vacation, why would you? So I like their cinnamon bun mix. Now... Next, I wanted to look at, I don't usually make scones, but just in case, there's a blueberry scone mix, and this box doesn't feel very heavy, actually. I'm not sure what's going on. They have clearly written expiration dates on the bottom, which I really appreciate because not a lot of companies make it easy to find out when your food is expiring. Next up, oh, another cinnamon mix. This is the cinnamon quick bread. Oops. And I just jumped out of, here we go. Is it that one? I'm trying to find it in the Amazon carousel. Nope, I'm failing. Okay, cinnamon swirl quick bread goes great with coffee or in my case, hot tea. Love to leave a little basket of this so that my guests can show up at my vacation home and just start baking and loving it. I have some other awesome Stonewall Kitchen things to show you. I don't have the pancake mix in front of me, 
I have it in the Amazon carousel, and I don't have the donut mix on hand. I wish I did. So next up, snacks. I like to leave a box of snacks on the counter because, again, if people are visiting my house, they are probably swimming, boating, fishing, hiking, etc. They come back hungry for snacks, and I'm also a wine blogger besides being a cookbook blogger. So we often, often pair wine with this. With Cheddar Asiago, I would pair a white wine or a rosé. It would be fabulous with that. And Cheddar can stand up to the red wines too. But to be honest, people at my house aren't drinking a lot of red wine in the summertime because it's 95 degrees out and eh, not doing it for you. I'm trying to find the snacks. There it is, Stonewall Kitchen Cheddar Asiago Bites. This is just 4.5 ounces. So an entire family would go through this in like five seconds if they got greedy. I also always have out rosemary olive flatbread crisps. I love the combination. That goes good with any kind of wine, for sure, and cheese. Although I don't serve a super flavorful cheese with rosemary olive because this is flavorful enough, so I would do a cheese that's a little bit less, less flavorful and more about the texture, like brie. And what else do we have in here? Oh, I wanted to mention this you can leave this soup mix or put it in a gift basket because that way somebody that really wants um, a health, hearty meal but they don't want to cook it, all they have to do is add butter, an onion, a little bit of flour, chicken broth obviously, two to three cups of cooked chicken, diced or bread, diced, excuse me, diced or shredded, some black pepper and a little bit of sherry, optional, I would do white wine. Unfortunately on Amazon right now this is $17, that's not what it costs. So that's probably an individual seller, not the actual Stonewall Kitchen Company. It's not worth $17 to have a, basically a pot of soup. So watch and see. I would add that to my wish list and see if the price drops, to be honest. Um, who, where are you watching from? We have people on Amazon Live and we have people on Cookbook Divas on YouTube. Hello. I need to jump up to the comments and see if I can see them. Next. Stonewall Kitchen makes this company, or sells them, I think they make them, I gotta find it in my stream, this is vegetarian, I'm very excited about it, where is it, it's Urban Accents Plant-Based Street Taco Mix, yay, I am a lifelong vegetarian, I'm not personally going to be eating this one, it's smoking chipotle, it sounds way too spicy for me, but you can buy it on Amazon, and so I did, and I'm probably going to make it for my boyfriend tonight, because luckily, he is a meat eater that's trying to eat healthier and eat less beef. So even though he would prefer beef, he'll actually put up with his vegetarian taco mix, which is great. And I'm trying to find it in my carousel and I'm failing miserably. Was it early on? It's a pretty distinctive. There it is. Urban accents. Whoop. Nope. It fell out of my carousel. Oh, well. Plant-based street taco. It would be really handy. Well, I'll just click on one of the other urban accents items. Here's another classic meatless mix, honey barbecue, ground veggie to make sloppy joes. I like to make these when I have leftover hamburger buns, which we often do, because we feel like eating hamburgers two days in a row. Well, my boyfriend will have two and I'll have two, and then the next day we'll have some more. But hamburger buns come in packs of eight, so why do we keep buying extra packs? I don't know. I think we're, we think we're feeding an army. And the last Urban Accents that I was hoping to show you but cannot find it in my carousel now, which is driving me crazy, is plant-based hearty chili, ground veggie meatless mix, classic mesquite. I'm not sure I like the mesquite flavor, but I'm gonna try. And this is vegan friendly and gluten free and uses natural flavorings. And there's little instructions on how to make it. So if, let's say you went to a vegetarian dinner party, the very next day, you could have Amazon ship your hostess these mixes and a nice little thank you note, etc. The last two things I wanted to show you from Urban Accents. This is very exciting, and I leave these in my vacation house as well so people can easily make it for themselves. All they need is Greek yogurt or sour cream. So this is garlicky pepper dip mix, and it calls for sour cream and then four teaspoons of this seasoning. And you just stir it and then put it back in the fridge for a little bit. This one, I've tasted this. I haven't tasted this one. I've tasted this one. I love it. Uh, in my house, I could make myself tzatziki. I have a cucumber. I have the yogurt. I have all the spices and seasonings. But at my vacation home, 
people might not want to haul out all the spices out of my cupboard so they could easily make the tzatziki Greek dip mix just using this packet and not making a big old mess of my house, which I appreciate. Thank you, guests. So on Amazon, there's also other flavors. I can't read them because it's for, oh, Chipotle barbecue. There's the tzatziki. There's also, I can't read it because it's too small. Oh, well, I have to use this app on my iPhone. It makes it hard to read. So let's talk about some more Stonewall Kitchen products. I'd love to hear where you're watching from and what kind of things you like to put in a gift basket. Maybe if you have spent the night at someone's house, you send them a gift basket of gourmet food the next day or the next couple days. Oh, clink, clink. Let's talk about oils. I did not buy these at Safeway, but I have them in these nice, sturdy, reusable bags. Maine maple syrup. Stonewall Kitchen is known for this. I'm trying to find it in my carousel. Oh, there's the Urban Accents. Now I find it. I need to learn to edit my product carousel before going live. Oh, well. Stonewall Kitchen is known for this Maine maple syrup, and I leave it at my vacation home so people have something delicious to put on their pancakes. And I also leave Stonewall Kitchen pancake mix, although I live near Safeway, and the people could just go buy a regular pancake mix if they had to. Having trouble finding the syrup in my stream. That's making me very sad. Is that it? Is that it? I think I see. Nope. Can't find it. There it is. I think that's the maple syrup. Okay. It's all natural, pure grade A amber color, rich taste, non-GMO, and it is gluten-free. You'll be glad to know. Next up, grapeseed oil. Now, this is not a necessity, but I personally love the flavor. It's healthier. It's high heat cooking. So we occasionally indulge in frying food. Probably not more than once a week, but we're going to fry it in the grapeseed oil because it can stand up to the high heat. And you don't really want to use olive oil for deep frying or for frying. So this is by Napa Valley Naturals, which is associated with Stonewall Kitchen. They sell it on their website. And of course, it's sold in the Stonewall Kitchen store on Amazon. Expeller pressed grapeseed oil, high heat cooking, light and delicate nutty flavor made with grapeseeds from Spain. So I wanted to point that out. We have another Napa Valley Naturals that I wanted to chat about. It is this one, organic sesame oil. So if you are making any kind of Chinese food, you need the sesame oil. Uh, I have a vegetarian recipe from one of my hundreds of cookbooks for making um, my favorite, favorite egg drop soup, and it requires sesame oil. So this is Napa Valley Naturals. You can buy it on Amazon. I'm so excited to open this and get using it and make some egg drop soup while the weather is still cold enough to be making soup. This is medium high heat cooking made with organic sesame seeds from Mexico. Okay, next up is a yellow. Oh, I'm so excited. No, nope, not that one. Excuse me as I go through. Organic lemon infused olive oil. I hope I'm focusing on the right one. I love, love, love lemon. And I bought this jar, and I should have got a bigger one, to replace the one I just used up. I like to take lemon pasta noodles, cook it in lemon water, and then put lemon, olive oil, and just a bit of Parmesan on it when it comes out. Stir it up while it's still hot. Keep some of the water in reserve to kind of sauce it and make it stick better. Love it. So this is Napa Valley Naturals Organic Lemon Infused Olive Oil. I use it when I'm making fresh, beautiful spring salads. I use it on a white caprese salad, which does not use tomatoes. Look up a recipe or you'll find it in one of your cookbooks. Love it. I love everything lemon. Oh, I just pour this over some burrata with some expensive sea salt. Oh, with some bread. Love it. You could just dip your bread in this. It would be a little bit lemony. Like you need the cheese to kind of cut through it. That's Napa Valley Naturals also. That's the last thing in my, hmm. Do we have this one? Aged balsamic vinegar. I didn't want to go to Safeway and buy a cheap balsamic vinegar to leave in my vacation house for my guests because a lot of my guests are really good cooks. I am not a really good cook. I'm just a cook. Eh. I own hundreds of cookbooks, but I'm not practicing enough. And I'm not that passionate about cooking. I'm passionate about entertaining. So if I could afford to hire a chef to come cook in my kitchen and feed my guests, I'd be happy because I'm throwing a party and my guests are delighted. 
and the food will taste better if a chef cooks it than if I cook it. <laughs> but this is what I'm going to leave at my vacation house for the summer. We'll probably go through this in one month, though. I have to get more. It's their aged balsamic vinegar, non-GMO, gluten-free. Yes. Thank you. And this is by Stonewall Kitchen, not Napa Valley Naturals. And the last thing I have olive oil-wise, I'm going to keep... Ah, I keep backing out of the app. Mm, that drives me crazy. All right. Is anyone chatting? Yes, Tanya's here. Hello, Tanya. We're looking at Stonewall Kitchen. And I'm picking the wrong item. There it is, I think. Roasted garlic oil. This is what I would dip my crusty bread in. Especially some people go on vacation and they're in a nice, clean, new vacation house and they want to bake so they could bake their sourdough bread or whatever and then dip it in this roasted garlic oil. And again, this is too small of a bottle. We're going to go through that right away. I should have bought it in a bigger bottle, but I did not. So I'll just have to buy more. Roasted garlic oil. You could also use this on salad dressing. I would put it over roasted cauliflower for a little cheat to add some more flavor. I would definitely put it over asparagus, but then I would put some pecorino cheese on top or some not grated Parmesan, but like the big sheets of Parmesan. Woo! I have another two or one more bag of Stonewall Kitchen goodies to talk about, I think. Oh yes, the cocktail hour bag. It's not even close to cocktail hour here in Seattle, unfortunately, but this bag is really heavy, excuse me. Well, I duck down for a second to grab this. Okay. Yay. So related to Stonewall Kitchen is a company called Tillin Farms. It's one of their brands. This is pickled, spicy, classic asparagus. Exceptionally crisp, they claim. Let's see what the serving suggestion says. I need to grab some glasses because I can't read their tiny font. Wrap spears and prosciutto for an easy hors d'oeuvre. Use as stirrers in a Bloody Mary. And what do people do on Sunday when they're in a vacation house? They have brunch and they make Bloody Marys. So I would definitely leave this in a little basket on my counter. Some like it hot, which is why we've created this chili brined version of our classic. Oh, I'm supposed to be finding it over here. Woo! I keep backing out of the app. It's driving me crazy. I have to find a way to not have butterfingers. Where are my cocktail hour items in this carousel? Hmm. I see baking items. Oh, here we go. There's Urban Accents. There's Tillin Farms. I could not find this actual asparagus, or did I? I'm not sure. Okay. Anyway, blanched and pickled within hours of harvesting for exceptional crispness. These veggies are the perfect garnish for adding a kick to cocktails or crunch to any charcuterie board. And today I'm actually looking through a charcuterie board cookbook, which I might do at the end of the show. Hey, you're actually live now too. Jalissa Queen, stop by. Hello, everyone. Follow Jalissa Queen. I'm going to make her a banner. To put, your, put your address in the chat. I love hanging out on Amazon Live with Jalissa Queen. Super fun. She does interesting, interesting chats, and she's great at building community, and she finds awesome products like this chair that I'm sitting in. I bought it through her live stream because she assured me it was super comfy and I could see it and she stood up and showed me the chair and so I bought it. Yay! Drop your live stream in the chat. I could not find this on Amazon. It is from Urban Accents also. It's a Chicago classic pizza sauce. I leave pizza sauce at my vacation house because people can easily run to Safeway, grab a bobbly crust or whatever and make their own pizza that night if they're not excited enough. It is a nice chair, Tanya. Stonewall Kitchen is known for their jams, so I usually leave a couple flavors. And I'm sorry that I'm looking off camera. I keep dropping out of my Stonewall. Uh, they probably make 35 different kinds of jam. So I like black raspberry. It's gluten-free. It's a fruit spread. It is not seedless, so be careful. I always have to floss before I go on camera if I've been eating these. I leave two or three flavors of this. I don't usually leave marmalade. I feel like that's polarizing. This is a tiny little sampler of wild main blueberry jam. It's probably the jam that Stonewall Kitchen is the best known for. Now, you're obviously thinking, use this on pancakes and on toast. Well, for sure. But you can also use it as your cheese board that you're setting out or your charcuterie board. It goes great with cheese. You can put it on top of ice cream, especially vanilla. You can spoon it onto pudding or onto yogurt to make something really special. You can make parfaits with it. That's what I would do with it. 
What else do I have in this goodie bag? Oh, another pickled item. This is so exciting. I can't even tell you how excited I am about this. Tillin Farms lemon dill pickles. I love everything lemony. It's so delicious. Ah, these are gherkin spears. They write, serving suggestions, serve alongside sandwiches, add a splash of brine to cocktails. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Or enjoy a few chilled straight from the jar. Yes. In a culinary pickle, reach for our citrus brined cukes, which brighten any dish with their tasty tart flavor. Blanched and pickled within hours of harvesting for exceptional crispness, these sophisticated spears make a great Bloody Mary garnish or charcuterie board add-on. Good idea. Back to the charcuterie board. Woohoo! Okay, one more jam I was going to show you. Peach amaretto jam. I love that their flavors are not usually just boring like peach jam would be perfectly delicious, but it's elevated. Peach jam is way more exciting. I think that's the peach jam. It has amaretto in it. I love the almond flavor. I would totally put this with cheese on my cheese board or charcuterie, not just on toast. Sometimes we're putting jam on top of our oatmeal because my boyfriend and I are eating oatmeal every day. It's kind of boring. Hello, Amazon Live fans. I hope you'll drop a note in the comments. Peach amaretto jam. All right, that is it for that. Do I have one more? No. Nope. That is all of my gourmet food. I think I'm going to do a quick little revisit for those of you that weren't here when we started out. I was talking about gift baskets and what I leave at my vacation home so that my guests can make themselves at home and cook some good gourmet food but not have to be in the kitchen all day if they've been out boating. So I love these mixes for it. Now, if you're a really good cook or baker and you own a bunch of cookbooks, you know how to make cornbread. You have a hundred recipes. But if you're at a vacation house and you've been boating all day and you're tired, but your husband or partner is whipping up chili, you can easily make some cornbread to go with it and people will gobble it up, etc. Let's see what they say about this one. When it comes to cornbread, every region has its own unique style. Ours is inspired by classic New England recipes, baking up with a soft, fluffy texture and a sweet corn flavor that pair perfectly with barbecued meats, baked beans, or spicy chili. Now, I'm going to have to admit... Very often at my vacation house, we've been boating and swimming. I come home and I open a can of baked beans and I heat it up. You know what? People gobble it up. They love it. I'm not being the best hostess in the world. So I might try to have a better balance this summer of maybe I don't go swimming and boating with the rest of the family all day long. Maybe I take my own car and come back and get cooking. That's kind of lonely though. I'm there to spend time with family. So that's why I like all these little cheats. Blueberry scone mix. I... I like to make these when people are there so they can smell them as they're baking. I don't want to bake them and have them ready to go for the next morning and then people show up at 6 o'clock at night and it doesn't smell as wonderful as it would have if they woke up in the morning and smelled this baking. There's also a cinnamon swirl quick bread mix, which I'm looking for. Is it that one? I think it's that one. I like quick bread. It goes great with coffee or with tea. It's not as messy to eat as a cinnamon roll, although there's nothing wrong with that. And I definitely have a cinnamon bun mix. And I will just leave this in a nice basket on the counter at my vacation home. Or if I spent the night and I'm actually spending the weekend at family's house in a couple months, maybe the next couple days after I get home, an Amazon shipment will show up with some of these nice mixes and some of the jams. Or if they threw me a Bloody Mary bun brunch, I could send them some of these. You want to be careful that you're not sending a message like, oh, I went to your brunch. It wasn't very good. You should use this stuff instead. That's not the message I want to send. I want to send gratitude. Hello, Jonathan from Texas. Jonathan, we're talking about Stonewall Kitchen gourmet foods. And looking at this pickled classic asparagus really makes me want a Bloody Mary. But I don't usually drink those in the middle of the day. So I'm going to hold off. I'm revisiting some of the snacks that we talked about. For those of you that weren't here, but I have to look way down in my carousel to find it. Oh, here we go. This is what I pair with wine, rosemary, olive, flatbread crisps. It's something I'm not likely to make and bake for myself at home, especially not on vacation. I'm not very good at making crackers, so I'm never going to do that again. But for wine pairing, I highly recommend these cheddar Asiago bites. They are amazing. 
Did I click on the right one? Yes. And I wanted to talk again about these Urban Accents dip mixes, which I'm looking for. Here they are. Ah! You need either Greek yogurt or sour cream to mix it in. And then once you mix it in and stir it really well, you got to put it back in the fridge for an hour. It would be better if you could do it for two hours. So make it ahead. And you, of course, have to taste it to make sure that it's good enough for your guests, right? Try not to eat the whole thing. Um, hello, Jonathan from Texas and Massachusetts. Anna, hello, Anna. We're going to chat about some vegetarian foods next. I just have to find it in my Amazon carousel. Oh, I keep losing it. This is by Urban Accents, which is a Stonewall Kitchen company. And I really suck at finding it in my stream. There it is. Phew! This is ground veggie meatless mix. Smoking Chipotle. It is vegetarian friendly. Gluten free. It doesn't say vegan friendly, so I wonder what's in it. Well, let's read the ingredients. Why not? Textured soy flour. Chipotle pepper. Cumin, coriander, salt, cane sugar. Dehydrated garlic. Natural hickory smoke flavor. And smoke flavoring contains soy. So that's vegan friendly too, I would think. What in that list wasn't vegan? Oh, well. Okay. I like the logo. It says, Urban Accents, your culinary wingman. So how do you use this stuff? Plant-based street taco mix. You need a cup of hot water, three tablespoons of oil, preferably Stonewall Kitchen oil, right? A green pepper chopped. Oh, I'm not a fan of green pepper. And an onion chopped. Then you combine the contents of this pouch with water and let it sit for five minutes. Then you heat oil in a pan and you saute your pepper and onion. Then you stir in the meatless mix into the pepper and onion and let it brown for four to six minutes. And then you serve it immediately on warm tortillas. Their other mix is the plant-based hardly hearty chili. And I make chili that just has beans in it, but that's not really enough protein for me. I'm a lifelong vegetarian. So I mix in uh, gluten usually. So this is classic mesquite. It's vegan friendly. It is gluten free and there's 11 grams of protein and it makes approximately six bowls. So how do we use this? We need hot water, oil, a chopped large onion, a chopped green pepper, uh, 14 to 16 ounces of tomato sauce and a can of pinto beans undrained, they say. I'm just checking to see if anybody's saying hello. I'm really glad, oh, Troy, Troy Yard, but your name is Jonathan, okay. I'm confused, but I will call you Jonathan. Oh, because you're using someone else's Amazon account. I get it. I'm sorry. All right. So you combine contents of this pouch with water. Let it stand for five minutes. Then you heat your oil in a stock pot. And you saute the onion and peppers until softened. You stir in your meatless mix into the stock pot and cook for three to five minutes until brown. Then you stir in tomato sauce and beans. Simmer for 10 minutes and serve hot. Now, I normally would be doing a demonstration of this, but my kitchen is ugly and it's actually uh, slated for demolition and renovation. So I won't be doing any cooking videos, but I'm happy to guest host on someone else's show and sit there and watch you cook and chat with you. And this is plant-based urban accents by Stonewall Kitchen. Sloppy, Bo Sloppy Joe mix, ground veggie meatless mix, classic honey barbecue. It is vegetarian friendly, but it doesn't say vegan. I don't know why. It's gluten free. So to use this, you need some old hamburger buns or brioche to put it on top of. You need a cup of hot water, three tablespoons of oil, a green pepper chopped. They really like green peppers at this company. A small onion chopped and a half cup. That seems like a lot of ketchup. Stonewall Kitchens makes a ketchup. I found it a little high in sodium for me. So you combine the contents of the pouch with water, let it sit for five minutes. You heat oil in a pan, saute your pepper and onion. You stir in the meatless mix with the pepper and onion, brown it for four to six minutes, just like the other packages. Then you add ketchup and saute for a minute and you serve it on burger buns. Wow, that could not be easier. I might do that tonight, it is Taco Tuesday. Who else is having Taco Tuesday at your house? I'm gonna put these away. I made a big old mess on my desk of delicious delicious stonewall things black raspberry jam and i think i've covered all of the items that i put in gift baskets or leave at my vacation house or send to hostesses as a gift if i was going to a dinner party tonight which i'm not because it's taco tuesday it's margarita time i could put these in a little gift bag i would wrap it in tissue and give it to the hostess and then she could enjoy this with her next cheese or in her breakfast etc 
And I'm using hostess interchangeably with host, of course. Don't care what gender of person's throwing the party. So I want to thank you for coming by to my first Stonewall Kitchen live stream. I will be doing it again. We will be doing some where we actually open up the products and taste them on camera. We're not set up to do that today because it's a long day of cookbook looking through for me. I'm filming a whole bunch of videos that I post over on YouTube where we look through cookbooks. There's going to be a bunch of them, and I hope to see you over there. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video and the next Amazon live stream. Bye!